Hi, this is our group, and we're doing a uh, live case on, on Sturman Master. First, we're going to talk about product development. So Keystone Potato Products is specializing in fresh cut potatoes as well as uh, dehydrated and flaked potatoes. Um, for the fresh cut potatoes, we're going to look into how to extend the shelf life of which is currently at 10 days. Currently, they're using sulfite as a preserving agent in these potatoes. Um, however, consumers are um, becoming concerned about how much sulfite is in their diets. Uh, another way that they're preserving these potatoes is through uh, refrigerated storage and transport. Um, citric acid was another thing that we looked into to possibly preserve these and extend the shelf life. However, this may change the flavor in the product, so this may not be a good option for Keystone. Uh, dehydrated and flaked potatoes have a longer shelf life as the current, the fresh cut potatoes do, um, so that they wouldn't have to be changed currently. We came up with two recommendations uh, for, to extend the shelf life. The first one came from a study from Michigan State University. In this study, uh, they found that reducing the oxygen and extending the, uh, or elevating, sorry, the carbon dioxide uh, in the packaging actually uh, extended the shelf life, as well as combining this with the sanitizing uh, treatment of sodium hypochlorite, um, which uh, paired with the reduced oxygen um, packaging uh, really extended the shelf life of the potatoes. Um, they actually looked into onions, so we figured that if it worked in onions, it would probably work in potatoes. Um, so, yeah, next slide. Uh, the second recommendation we had was from Penn State University and their Ag and Biology Engineering Department. In this study, they found that the FIT Fruit and Vegetable Wash, wash uh, extended the shelf life as well. So this avoided the allergen concern as well as getting a similar shelf life, if not a little bit longer than the sulfite um, gave, which Keystone is using currently. Uh, the price is the issue that we found with this, this uh, switch. Um, currently retail, it's selling, the Fit product is selling for $6.87 for 32 ounce bottle. Uh, which we believe that that can be reduced with bulk uh, purchases. And there are also similar products on the market, so um, that is another option to look into. So we came up with some uh, ideas to improve the supply chain, which would ultimately affect the uh, shelf life in the long run. So our first recommendation would be to add a separate sales team dedicated to the Keystone products. This would alleviate stress on the Stern Master Sales Team and uh, an online or an on-site uh, KPP sales team means more accurate inventory counts for the uh, sales orders and it can make for faster lead times across the board because there's not as much stress on the Stern Master Team. Our second would be to expand the production line at uh, Keystone. This would allow for shorter lead time because there's not as much time spent on scheduling and processing. Uh, we'd able, be able to uh, handle large orders at a faster rate and it would lead to a fresher product being delivered to Giant. Uh, our long-term recommendation would be to build a separate distribution center dedicated solely to Keystone products. Uh, this cuts out the middleman of stopping at the Stern Master plant before moving on to the Giant distribution center. Uh, this cut in lead time would ultimately lead to a fresher product uh, on the shelves. We also made improvements and recommendations for the marketing team at Sturman Master. First, we analyzed the value proposition of the fresh cut potato market to be sure that it's something we can continually invest in. Essentially, it's been a very fast growing segment in the vegetable industry from 1994 to uh, 2017. The uh, fresh cut market has grown from $3.3 billion to $15 billion and it's only expected to continue growing. And currently, 64% of U.S. potato use by consumers is processed, meaning fresh cut, uh, refrigerated, or frozen. Uh, we've also analyzed what the competition is doing in the fresh cut market, uh, from Oceanus to Del Monte and everywhere in between. Everyone is investing in fresh cut vegetables. Oceanus is working on seasoned and steamed. 
Del Monte working on fresh cut vegetable noodles, gourmet pouches for awesome farm and produce, and a variety of different companies as well investing in fresh cut, like Fresh Line, Whole Foods, and Duda Fresh Foods. Essentially, all of this research brought us to believe that there is extensive growth to be predicted in the fresh cut potato market. Um, we have increased sales, a lot of investment by competitor companies, and everything is being driven by the convenience that is being demanded by the millennial consumer. That's the market segment that Sturman Master should be focusing on primarily. Millennials are trying to get dinners and uh, convenient meals on the go. Uh, that's not to say that uh, Sturman Master should, should uninvest or divest in it from whole fresh potatoes. They're still marketable, especially with the trays and prepared packages that Sturman Master is already investing in, but ultimately it's this diversification and variety with fresh cut that will give Sturman Master an edge. We analyze the uh, value proposition in different potato alternatives, uh, meaning like quick meals that could be replaced for potatoes. So one easy one is pasta. Very easy to cook, it's storable for up to five days, and uh, there is a variety of different types from Kraft and Easy Mac. We also have quinoa and rice, both very simple to make. Quinoa, nutritionally, is very high in protein and fiber as compared to potatoes, and it's usually eaten either as a meal or on a salad or side dish. Rice uh, is very similar to potatoes in that um, it's, they can come in steamable bags, prepared very simply, and nutritionally, it's viewed by the consumer as something that's a heart-healthy alternative. So these are the things that Sermon Master has to compete against. So we've made a few recommendations for the product line uh, to increase competition against these competitors. One being as simple as potato wedges. It's a new take on French, fr French fry cuts, very similar to the cuts that are already being done, just triangular instead of rectangular. And they can be marketed as a fresh and healthy alternative to French fries. So Sturman Master can put instructions on the back of these packaging, uh, something as simple as add olive oil, onion flakes, and bake at 400 degrees. And this is a simple way to uh, increase our value. As well, another recommendation is tater tots and shredded hash browns. This is a solution to using sort of the wasted and unattractive potatoes that aren't good enough for Wegmans uh, wholesale potato trays. Uh, simply what you can do is shred them and refrigerate them. What's great for this is we're all, Sterling Master is already sourcing uh, flavors and spices that we can use for these uh, hash browns. They're already sourcing them for the wholesale potatoes. And there's a lot of market evidence showing that potato growth is driven by both tater tots and um, hash browns. The last recommendation we make for the existing product line is um, potato spaghetti noodles. This, as we saw from Del Monte, investing in vegetable noodles, this is a growing segment in the industry. Um, so we decided that Sterling Master should invest in this growth. Uh, it provides a convenience to the consumer, the vegetable noodles, without having the consumer have to make them themselves. Uh, the only downside to this is that Sturman Master will have to invest in this. Um, it's, uh, we will have to invest in an industrialized uh, spiralizer on site in the production facility. We also made recommendations to increase both category awareness and brand awareness. For now, I'll focus on category awareness. The first recommendation being something as simple as YouTube videos. Tasty videos and sort of um, food instruction videos for meals have become very popularized on social media, particularly for millennials, the target market that we're looking for. And uh, something as simple as producing a YouTube video with uh, fresh cut potatoes would be something to increase awareness that potatoes is a category that millennials should be exploring. In going in tandem with that is also just social media. Uh, millennials are more and more using Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So these promoted posts on Twitter and Instagram with different um, potato posts and relevant content will be very helpful to increase uh, category awareness, as well as partnering with cooking blogs. Millennials are following cooking blogs um, on different sites, so if we form connections with these bloggers, they can talk about their experiences with fresh cut products. But specifically, we want Sturman Master to invest in their brand. Uh, Sturman Master has yet to sort of uh, create a brand identity, and we think that it can be done with uh, increased social media presence, partnering with different influencers who can speak to the Sturman Master and Keystone product uh, name, as well as increasing access to convenience locations. Again, with that target market of, market of millennials, they're not shopping at Wegmans and Walmart as much, but more Sheets, Wawa's, different college convenience stores. We also recommend that Keystone again invest in its brand by creating some kind of merchandising bag. This one particularly being stand-up that could uh, stand out in a grocery store. And focus on signature colors as well as the branding of the Keystone logo. This creates brand recognition. 
We also recommend search engine marketing with Google and Bing, as well as campus events, using Penn State as a sort of sample market to test out different marketing techniques, um, give samples and information on the company. With these five recommendations, as well as the recommendations we made for category and product line, we think that Sherman Mass would be in a great position in its fresh cut product line. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to email us.